Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the Fallout 4 PlayStation 4 mods petition that I created a little while ago and a lot of people have been asking me about it, undoubtedly. Everybody has been messaging me on Twitter and Facebook and, uh, yeah, just YouTube in general. So this is going to be the last update about that petition that has already got around about 5,000 signatures. And uh, we're going to be talking about that, but also we're going to be talking about a post that was made on Bethesda.net in September 2015 and how this kind of coincides with that mods petition that I created and uh, how actually I'm quite disappointed at Bethesda if I'm honest. Now first of all I would like to say that I am not full-on hating Bethesda Game Studios in this video. I love the games that they create, I think they're absolutely amazing but I don't necessarily agree with how the company goes about things. I feel like they put on a bit of a front so that everyone thinks they're really nice and yeah, it's just my opinion though guys. Normally I can kind of see through things like that. I can th see when somebody's being fake and yeah, especially in this circumstance, I really think Bethesda, Bethesda really, really, yeah, I don't want to get into that. Let's let's get on with the mods petition. So in case all of you don't know, I created a mods petition in which basically I asked Bethesda would they be able to create a standalone patch for the PlayStation 4 in which brings the PlayStation 4 users who don't have mods yet a little room in which they have unlimited resources. So they can just go in and they can just go and collect all their shit and go back to settlement building and enjoying the last two settlement DLCs because, you know, it's only fair. Because us on Xbox and PC, we can just type in a couple of commands. We can say, we can pull up our Pip-Boy and commands us how many we want uh, of each resource. But PlayStation players actually still have to go out there and they have to, you know, scavenge for these resources. Now, I thought that was a bit unfair, so I thought, why not just implement this little room and, you know, let everyone enjoy it. And if people don't want to go in that room, then fair dues, don't go into the room, you know, it's simple as that. Now, since then, that was around about two months ago, I have tweeted out to Pete Hines, Matt Grandstaff, and nothing, not one reply from any employee and you know what for dues because they're very busy with you know nuka world and their upcoming games and you know that's okay that is okay but then i remembered about the post back in september 2015 and what they specifically said they would be doing for the community and it really kind of pissed me off i've got to admit it really did so here what you're looking at is a screen grab of bethesda.net and as you can see from the title it is called Fallout 4, The Launch, and Beyond. And basically they talk about, you know, what's going to happen at launch, what they'll continue to do after the game dies out. And right here we're going to zoom in here on regular updates. So I'm just going to read this. So we'll be doing regular free updates to the game. And like Skyrim, these will come with not just fixes, but new features. Let me just add, the only new feature for free that we have got in this game is survival mode. So this game has been out for around about a year, only one new free feature, okay? Uh, fair dues, not many people have requested things, but let's move on. For Skyrim, we added things like mounted combat, legendary mode, kill cams, visual enhancements, and more. We will work with all of you to figure out what new things you'd love to see added to Fallout 4, whether they are small tweaks or new features. So that last part, we will work with all of you to figure out what new things. That has pissed me off. I am reading that right now and I'm, I'm even more pissed off than I was, that I thought I would be. That's pissed me off. That has really pissed me off. Because not only did I request that feature, but 5,000 of you actually did too. And not only 5,000 of you, even more of you did. But some of you didn't feel comfortable putting your name and address into that petition website. And you know, petitions never are a guaranteed thing. They're just basically, you know, hope. That's what we have in this world, you know? We hope for things. Now people said, you know, oh, you're doing it for this and that. Bullshit. You don't know me as a person. If you knew me in real life, Life, you would know what I'm like, what I do for people on, you know, a, a basis in which they need help. I help people quite a lot. Now, 
Again, looking at that, we will work with all of you to figure out what new things you'd love to see. Now, even though I didn't create a forum post on Bethesda.net, I did create a petition. I created a video petition in which people think videos are more of a better kind of way to reach out to people. Heck, people even do video uh, curriculum viates these days, CVs, you know, people do video CVs because they feel like their potential employer could, you know, get to know them better. And that's what I thought. If people can hear my voice rather than me, you know, typing, they would hear how passionate I was about getting that room implemented. Now, again, they've only actually added one feature into this game for free. Now, honestly, I think once this game is over, that's all we'll see. We'll see a couple of uh, updates every now and then to get rid of some bugs, some quest mods, uh, quest bugs like updated. But that's it. I think what they said, what they meant about that is we'll be doing regular free updates. I think, no, you should rephrase that to the modders will be doing our work to make your game better. And that is what I think. That is honestly what I think right now. Because Bethesda, they make great games, I've got to admit. But completely disregarded, I don't know, I say the fans words. I do have to give them this though. When they said they will work with all of us, I remember at one point they did work with the mod authors, you know, who were getting their mods stolen and stuff. Well done. Th that was a great thing that they did. You know, they acted very quickly, as quick as they could, and they got it fixed. But what I'm saying here is they completely disregarded my little video and stuff. And I'm not acting like, oh, they ignored me, but they, but they replied to everyone else. I'm not asked about that. It was genuinely not just me. It was 5,000 other people who wanted this other than me. Heck, I'm only just a newly found PS4 uh, console owner. And yeah, I just thought I'd do something nice. I reached out to two of the biggest people in the company who actually talk to fans. They didn't have anything to say, which is which is great. We know where you stand on that. Either you fucking really hate me, which I honestly couldn't give a shit about, or you know, you just really don't give a shit because you're probably working on the next Elder Scroll game, planning it out and stuff, or whatever. Um honestly, I didn't plan on being this much as a uh, aggro, I guess. I didn't want to do this much aggro in this video. I'm normally a chill guy, but reading that last little sentence has really kind of pissed me off. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. So, guys, let me summarize it up. The PlayStation 4 mods petition didn't even get a didn't even get a public little word in. Nobody said anything to me. No one sent me an email, even though I ha they have my email. Nobody sent me anything. Nobody said anything about it, so it's not going to happen. That's what it is, and we will probably have to wait another two months until PlayStation 4 mods, because honestly, I'm looking at this September date, which I initially said, and it doesn't like look like much is going to happen. I don't know. So guys, again, I didn't mean for this to be a full-on RAM video. I guess this is my first RAM video on this channel, I guess, which is pretty cool in, 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 in a way. But um, tell me what you think. I mean, it's just that little kind of regular update thing that really kind of pissed me off, I've got to admit. When somebody says something and doesn't do it, it's kind of annoying, but yeah. Um, anyway guys, I hope that you are all having an awesome day. Let me know what you think in the comment section, and uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya!